let's integrate sine squared of x times cosine squared of x. So initially, I'm going to look at this problem, see if I can do any simple u substitutions, and I notice that I can't. So I'm going to resort to using trig identities. So the trig identity we need to know here is these two. We know that sine squared of x is equal to 1 half 1 minus cosine of 2x. And the other one we need to know is that cosine squared of x is equal to 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2x. So we're going to use these two to figure this out, hopefully. All right. So we know that this is equal to, let's we'll substitute those values that we know, the integral of 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x, all times 1 half 1 plus cosine of 2x dx. So I can rewrite this as the integral, or 1 fourth, because the 1 half and the 1 half, right? 1 fourth, the integral of 1 minus cosine 2x times 1 plus cosine 2x, that's just 1 minus cosine squared of 2x, right? That's just the difference of two squares formula, dx. All right, now let's think about what we can do here. So again, I'm going to think about any maybe u substitutions I can possibly do. So pause the video and, and think about how we can integrate this now. So now I notice that I actually cannot do any u substitutions, but what I could do is use this third identity. So it's essentially, it's the same identity. I'm going to sort of rewrite it. So cosine squared of 2x, well, that's just 1 half 1 plus cosine of 4x, right? So we have to double the angle that we have here. So now let's substitute that. Hopefully we finish off after that. So we have 1 fourth integral of 1 minus 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 4x. Okay, this is looking good because now we don't have any any trig functions getting squared or you know any powers to trig functions. So that's usually good. Okay, let's let's simplify this a little bit. So this is one fourth the integral of one minus one half um, minus cosine of four x over two dx. So it seems to me now that we can actually just take the integral. So let's do it in a different color. So let's take that integral. Well, this integral one is just x. So it's, this is all one fourth times x minus one half x minus, let's think about what the integral of cosine of four x over two is. So that would be sine of four x over eight. And think about why. Let's think about why. So sine of four x over eight. Because if we take the derivative of this, if we take the derivative of sine 4x over 8, we get cosine of 4x over 8 times chain rule, right? Times 4. So the 4 and 8 cancel, and it becomes a 2 on the bottom. So the, the, the derivative of this, of this function is the integrand. So that works. So I'm going to go up there. So our official answer, we can simplify it a bit, little bit. We get 1 fourth of x minus 1 eighth of x, 1 eighth x minus sine of 4x over 32. And maybe we can combine these two. Uh, so this is 2 eighth x minus 1 eighth x. So that's just 1 eighth x. So 1 eighth x minus sine of 4x over 32. And this right here is our answer.